It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Pressure Drop Brewing Company and it's a can of their Tomorrow's World New World Pale Ale coming in at 5.5% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Love the artwork on the can. It's got all that kind of digital look about it. Tomorrow's World, I remember Tomorrow's World as being, whether that's reference to Tomorrow's World, a BBC show, I don't know. But it used to be a television programme looking at the history or the, the future, the future of technology. Right, beer in the glass. That looks rather lovely. Two finger white head. Lovely, looks like a New England IPA, New England Pale Ale in this case. So a hazy oaty, probably oats. I've not, I've not looked, I'll have to have a look in a moment. But either a little bit of lactose or some oats in there to give it that kind of hazy, creamy look to it. It would be, if it was clear, I would say it would be heading towards straw coloured, very light amber coloured beer. Carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Let's get the aroma. Smells really good. Really good. Tropical, punchy. Grapefruit flavours coming through in the aroma. A little spicy pepperiness there lurking around in the back. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. I'm going to take a guess on lactose. I think I'm going to take a guess on lactose on this one. Probably got some oats in there, but I'm going to... It's got that kind of silkiness of, of lactose. Creamy, silky kind of mouthfeel on the beer. Flavour. Yeah, smack on. Sweetness to begin with. Touch of bitterness on the back end, all the flavour bang in the middle. And that is, it's... I'm going to go with... It's it surprisingly, I mean, have a look at the beer. There's a little bit of carbonation, but it's surprising when you put the beer in your mouth, it's kind of like... A little bit of a hiss, a little bit of a fizz inside of the mouth, pushes the beer around the inside of the palate. And it's giving off like, um, almost like a refresher. That's that's what I'm looking for. You know the Swizzles, the, the, the sweet company, the refresher. They used to do big refresher bars years ago, but now they're kind of like small refresher bars. But they got that kind of tutti fruity, tropical flavour with a bit of, a little bit of fizz there. A little bit of like like sherbet lemon fizz going on. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. A really good beer. And I was talking to wonderful bloke by the name of Nat. Nat, I call him. It's either, it, I, I, I'm not, it's definitely not Nate. It's definitely Nat. Nat at the bottle shop in Cardiff where I picked this up. And he was just saying how uh, pressure drop, uh, they produce really good beer, first and foremost. The beer's really good. It's really reasonable. It's really well priced. And not only that, they're very flexible with, I mean, this is a little bit boring for you guys, I suppose, but for bottle shops, it's very important 
Oh. Little independent bottle shops. Really important that they, they can get their hands on these beers and, and that the brewery is quite flexible with, with how they get hold of it. Like for instance, um, I know Beaver Town a couple of years ago went to the stage where you had to buy a whole pallet of a specific, say Gamma Ray, before they would deliver to your bottle shop. That's no good. That's no good to a small bottle shop because they're not going to sell it all. They're simply not going to sell that amount of Gamma Ray uh, into, in, into a bottle shop. But apparently, pressure drop, they'll, I don't know, I don't know how it's done distribution network but apparently it's really good they're really flexible people when it comes to getting their beer that's the most important thing getting their beer out there for people like me and you to try and it's tasty it really is a tasty brew it's tropical Orange peel, fleshy blood orange, mango. A little bit of grapefruit. Not overly grapefruit, it's not overly kind of piney and citrusy. It's more it's more kind of mangoes and passion fruit, which is which is for a New England IPA the norm. Or the New England pale ale is the norm. Yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. You can see it's good stuff if you know your beer. You can see it's a it's a pretty decent beer. Now for me, Pressure Drop, they, um, I, I think it was about five years ago for me, Pressure Drop, they, they were everywhere, Pressure Drop were everywhere, everyone was drinking their beer, and then they seemed to fall off the radar a little bit, um, for me anyway, I, I, you know, I imagine some of you guys who really love Pressure Drop and you live in London, I imagine they never really fell off, off the radar, but for me over here in Wales, um, didn't really see their beer for a little while, and now, all of a sudden, yeah, their, their, their beer is very good. And it is very much available in a lot of bottle shops in the area. So I'm going to rate this, Tomorrow's World. Really good, really good beer. Uh, we put some of the juiciest hops we have into this soft and hazy pale ale. Looking for a satisfying hoppy pale with no hard edges. Get this. Uh, tasting notes, soft, hazy, tropical fruits. Hops and Mosaic, Amarillo, Simcoe and Citra. Serve fresh and chill. I, it's still the middle of March or towards the end of March here, 2020. And it's still cold in my kitchen. So I like to drink beer to grab lots and lots of flavor. So I'll drink my beer from the back wall of the kitchen, quite cold. Um, I've got a single sink skim bricked house on the on the back there. There's not much in the way of warmth at all on the back, so the coal just comes through the wall straight away through four inches of brickwork. So by having my beers on the back wall, they're very cold. They're very cold. So I don't need to fridge my beers, um, but they're colder than room temperature. Hence all of them beers there. Right, tomorrow's world for me. I like that. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.